Hello, thank you for clicking on this Barnes & Noble shopping vlog. I hope that you enjoy. As you can see, this one's on the shorter side. I was in a big rush because I was trying to film a vlog and then meet Joshua Bassett before he left. So if anybody wants a story time about that, definitely stick around for the end where I tell you about my experience meeting him. He's an actor and a singer for those of you who don't know. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoy this shortened book shopping vlog where I give recommendations and show you books that sound interesting to me. I used the special mic attached to my camera, but for some reason it's still picking up a lot of static, so I'll just narrate this. I've heard Birds of California is really good. I keep seeing things about The No Show by Beth O'Leary. I keep seeing it on TikTok. It's about a guy who stood up three different women on Valentine's Day and then about how their stories interweave. So that was the new adult side that I'm showing you right now. Uh, buy one, get one half off of a lot of romance novels. Here's Young Adult, Love Kisses and Croissants, Love and Gelato, a lot of amazing recommendations. I've read a good chunk of books on this side of the table. What do you think of the new Taylor Jenkins Reid co covers? I've yet to read anything from her, but I think this will be the first one I'll read. But what do we think of the new covers? Too generic? Or do we like them? Give me your opinions down below. Love the new cover for Love and Other Words, but I honestly really like the old one too. The blind date with the book section is always like really cute, but I can never tell what it's gonna what book it is because they're really good at hiding it. So like Incredible storytelling. You will fall in love with an iconic city. I don't know, probably a book about New York. I just like, don't know. I'm good at being secretive. So, but this idea has always been really cute. We came here the other week, but they literally moved everything around, like all the manga is where the romance was. So, I'm gonna go ahead and like basically just explore. Oh my gosh, why is all the young adult like this? They literally moved everything. I'm so confused. Here are young adult graphic novels. So I think, okay, here we go. So like all the romance is here, and then young adults over there. Try not to film people. Wow, interesting, why do they move everything? Part of that this is really good, it's called The Godparent Trap. It's basically the movie Life As We Know It, but in book form. I definitely want to check this out. It looks like one of the protagonists is a food blogger, which is fun. I've heard really good things about this. I keep seeing that around, keep thinking that sounds good. I haven't read this yet. I've been meaning to because I really like this author, Nisha Sharma, short dating Dr. Dill. There's a YA of hers that I really liked, but I just love this cover because it's basically 10 things I hate about you. I just bought this recently in my last vlog slash haul on A Scene on TV by Meredith Short. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I'm really enjoying it so far. If you like the Gilmore Girls, then I would definitely check it out. The people have been talking about Sarah Adams online. Apparently she writes new adult, but it's more clean and closed doors. So I definitely want to check out her work. Again, I'm not getting anything today, but here are some of her books. I believe she's self-published, which is just super cool, especially you now getting to see her books in Barnes & Noble. I'm going to read this. Okay, it's not coming out, but I do love Christina Warren's writing. If anyone's read this, let me know. This is their newest book that just came out. Apparently it's a little different than their other stories. It has more of like a Western take, which is really cool. I need to reread the first Vampire Academy book and read the rest since the TV show is going to come out soon. Is anyone else excited? I just like love vampire stories. I actually really like the Vampire Academy movie, but unfortunately they didn't end up making more than just the first one. I get a little bit of a rush today, but I'm trying to show you all some books that are good to me or sound good to me and just kind of show you the sections and everything. Mm, this might be like a little bit of a shorter video and for that I am sorry, but make sure you subscribe if you like watching Barnes & Noble vlogs and you want to continue to watch them and definitely make sure to catch up on the ones that I've posted before. I have a whole entire playlist that I can link below in the description if I remember. If not, just go to my channel page and you'll see it. I'm almost done reading this. This is basically like Princess Diary set in J Japan and I really like it. I talk about it a lot on my channel actually. This book is amazing. I just finished it recently and it's about these two people who are set in a time loop on their first day of college. This is the same person who wrote Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, but I don't see a copy of that here. I recently posted a video where I give a bunch of recommendations of books that are set abroad, both new adult and young adult. This is one of the ones I mentioned, but I mentioned others, some that are more popular, some that are less popular. So definitely go ahead and check that video out if you're interested. Of course, one of my favorite contemporary reads of all time, Anna and the French Kiss. We got some Jennifer Niven. This is the new cover for Breathless, so the paperback version. Love that book. Oh, let's see if we can find Lynn Painter's. Oh, here, this is the paperback version of Better Than the Movies. It just came out today. This is one of my favorite books of all time, and I already have the hardcover. Very tempted to buy the paperback to support her. Maybe I will on a different day, but this movie, so, this book is so good. If you like movies, especially rom-com movies, then you'll definitely enjoy this one. Two things. One, I'm going to tell you how I met Joshua Bassett. Two, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be on TV next week. Okay. So number one, um, yes, Josh announced yesterday, kind of last minute, that he was doing a meetup. So I was like, okay, that's that's my plan for the day. 
So I went to the place that he said to meet up at and he was literally so sweet, so kind. If you don't know who he is, he's a singer and an actor. He's the star of the High School Musical, the musical, the series. And also he has a lot of really amazing songs and he's genuinely like my favorite singer. So it was so incredible getting to meet him. He was so, so, so nice. I will say though, when he arrived, like there was a mob, like literally he was trying to like walk forward and it was like a sea of people, like just chugging forward, pushing. Like there was a, truly a mob. Um, everybody tried to give him space a couple times times but you know people get so excited in these situations that they kind of close in on him um he's wearing a sweater also i don't know how like it truly felt like 100 degrees outside but anyway it was really nice of him to take all that time to meet everybody and like take videos and stuff like he filmed a little video for my friends um so i'll insert like the pictures and the videos hi, Josh, can I get hi. yeah yeah absolutely. Thank you so much how you doing? good how are you good would you mind saying hi to jennifer and nico please? what up jennifer and nico yeah. your friend's the coolest thank you so nice <laughs> to you so excited for the trip thank show. you so much thank you I just feel very grateful and if you want to meet him that I hope you get to as well um now let me tell you I'm gonna be on tv so I was like walking after I met Josh and I saw these people with cameras and I was like what are you guys doing and they're like oh we're filming a segment um for the talk which is a show on CBS in America and basically on that show they're gonna bring like a relationship expert and they wanted people to like ask questions that the expert's gonna answer on the show, I think in real time. So I signed an NDA and I asked a question. So that's gonna be kind of fun. I'm not sure exactly when the episode comes out, but I do know it's gonna be next week. Just like a fun random experience, which is pretty cool. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you like Barnes & Noble shopping vlogs, little fun story times and things like that, then definitely subscribe. You can also find my social media link down below. I have Goodreads and my Insta, TikTok. Uh, Twitter as well if you want. So anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.